Welcome to competitiongurus.com. Today's lecture on mensuration. We will be covering our various topics, discussing about different 2D and 3D figures. So, mensuration is one important topic which is covered under your QA paper. First of all, let us see what are the different 2D figures, and we will move on to 3D figures. We will be talking about different things such as surface areas and volumes. Let us see what are these figures. Let us understand these figures one by one, and then we will see how to calculate their areas and their volumes. Our first 2D figure is a rectangle. What is a rectangle? A rectangle is a four-sided figure in which opposite sides are of equal length, and all the four sides are at 90 degrees to each other. So that makes for a rectangle. What is the difference between a 2D figure and a 3D figure? A 2D figure has only two dimensions, say length and breadth, while a 3D figure will also have height or depth. So, rectangle is our first 2D figure which we are discussing today. So, in any 2D figure in mensuration, we have to see two things. One is perimeter and other is area. Perimeter is total sum of the lengths of the four sides of this figure. So if this side is A, this is B, this is also A, since this is a rectangle, this is also B. So what will be the perimeter here? A plus B plus A plus B is equal to 2a plus 2b is equal to 2 into a plus b. That is the perimeter of this rectangle. So if a is equal to say 4 meters and b is equal to say 5 meters, then the perimeter of this triangle of this rectangle will be 4 plus 5, 9, 9 into 2, 18 meters. So what will be the area of this rectangle? Area is length into breadth L into B. So in this case it will be A into B square units. So if this is in meters, so we will have AB square meters. Now say A is 2 meters and B is 3 meters. So area of this rectangle is 2 into 3, 6 square meters. Our next figure is a square. So what is square? Square is a four sided figure. All the four sides are at right angle to each other and the length of all four sides is same. So perimeter, sum of these four sides, so if this side is A, then all the sides are A and so our perimeter becomes 4A. And what will be the area of a square? Area is length into breadth. So length is A, breadth is B, A. So our area becomes A square. 4A and A square, remember. And now say if A is equal to 3 meters, then area of this, rectangle, this uh, square would be 9 square meters. Please remember. Our third figure is a triangle. A triangle is a three sided figure. The only basic rule in a triangle is that sum of these three angles angle A plus angle B plus angle C will always be 180 degree. And now our two standard problems here what will be the perimeter and what will be the area. Perimeter, simple as I told you, sum of the lengths of these sides. So if say this is 4 meters, this is 5 meters and this is 6 meters, so the perimeter of this triangle will be 4 plus 5 plus 6 
that is 15 meters and area there are two formulas for the area of a triangle depends depending upon are the lengths of three sides given or we may alternately be given with an altitude what is an altitude it is a perpendicular drop from an opposite side to the base so in this case if i consider bc as the base and i drop a perpendicular from here and i name it as say d then this ad will be the altitude or the perpendicular drop here or the height of this triangle so in that case area of a triangle is half into base into height so here it will become half into base is say bc 5 and whatever the height the height was given as 4 so it becomes half into 5 into 4 so you get 10 square meters if it was meters as I told you there are two formulas to, uh, uh, to check the to calculate the area of a triangle one is if the altitude is given another is if altitude is not given and three sides are given in that case we calculate area with a formula called Piro's formula which is area of a triangle as per Hero's formula is under root S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C and what is S what is A what is B what is C here this is our triangle ABC are the lengths of three sides and S is the semi perimeter perimeter as I told you what is perimeter of this triangle it will be A plus B plus C and what will be semi perimeter half of this perimeter same is half it will be this so if the three sides are given you can calculate S S becomes A plus B plus C upon 2 you calculate S here and you subtract A, B and C from S each and you calculate area here this way it is very important to understand these formulas because when you solve a problem a practical problem there you will have to use these formulas you will have to see which formula will be applied here Heron's formula or the conventional formula of triangle half into base into height so that will depend upon what is given to you in the question our third figure is a parallelogram A parallelogram, what you define it, it is a four sided figure in which opposite sides are equal, not equal, sorry, opposite sides are parallel to each other. So this is a parallelogram, this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. So this becomes a parallelogram. Perimeter, now you know very well, very simple, sum of these four sides. So this is one, this is one this is 2, this is 2 so perimeter becomes 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is 6 units another thing which we have to calculate here is the area the area of a parallelogram is base into height this is your base and you take any perpendicular on this side or this side so this could be one perpendicular this could be one perpendicular this will be same obviously because both the sides are parallel so how you calculate area is this base multiplied by this height base into height parallelogram our next figure is a trapezium what is a trapezium a trapezium is a four sided figure in which any two sides will be parallel so it could be these two sides or it could be these two sides so in my example i have taken these two sides as parallel to each other perimeter i need not tell you now i hope it is clear to you now some of these four sides that is perimeter but area yes that is something new for us here how much will be the area of our trapezium it is sum of parallel sides into height half into sum of parallel sides into height so parallel sides these are the parallel sides 
this length is a this is b so i will take as half sum of parallel sides a plus b into this height into h this is how i get area of a trapezium this for some of our linear figures then we have a circle again two things here first thing is perimeter what is perimeter that is this total length what is the formula for this length 2 pi r where r is the radius of this circle this is the center this is the radius so this total length suppose i wind a thread around this circle and i take the length of that thread that is the perimeter of the circle so that is 2 pi r another thing area of the circle that is pi r square pi as you know for your calculation purpose you can take it as 22 by 7 though this is only an approximation 22 by 7 so perimeter 2 pi r area pi r square this is the area how much is this this is pi r square and how much is this length this is 2 pi r please remember and in this case you may also be asked to get say length of this much arc how much is this arc if this angle is theta length of this arc will be theta upon 360 into 2 pi r and same way you can calculate area of this sector this will be theta upon 360 into pi r square this was about uh, our 2d figures in next class we will be taking up our 3d figures